Quit crying at night and pray. If I find myself crying at night, I've looked down, haven't I? My countenance has fallen, right? I'm not connected with the eyes of the Savior. Because he doesn't say cry and he doesn't say pray. He says, believe. He says, the words you believe are on your lips. Speak them. Speak them. Mountain, out of the way. I don't care out of the way. And then, some, then your neighbor tells you, doesn't look like that mountain's moving, does it? Doesn't matter. It's out of the way. It's out of the way. Is it out of the way? What does the Bible say? Are you healed? Are you delivered? Are you saved? Have you been translated into the kingdom of his dear son? You either have or you hadn't. Right? Now, he specializes in the soulish realm in symptoms and fear. Right? And what are they intended to do? Make you not believe. Make you not believe what you know and instead believe what you think you see. Amen? You know, there's just some things in life you have to hold on to and not be shaken off of. The funniest thing is people, real successful people in the world understand this. They all, how many men and women are CEOs now or have companies? And the first thing they'll tell you was, I went bankrupt the first two times, but I didn't quit. I held on. Yeah, the family, we almost lost everything. It actually made us closer. Huh? But we held on. Now, you believe that in the natural. Why won't you believe that in the spirit? Why won't you believe that if you just hold on and don't give in and don't yield, that in the end, it'll result in a weight of glory for you, just like it did Jesus? You know? Amen? 